Uh, it's been it's been crazy. Um, I don't think nobody obviously has been crazier than the Rams, but <laughs> uh, I think we can say that. But um, that there, there, there has been crazy with the. They got two first rounders now, mm -hmm. and they got two second round um, draft picks. That's big. That's huge for an organization like them. But they always at the top of their game and whatever they do. Um, I know there's speculation about the tight end mm -hmm. um, there, whether he's going to play or not going to play. Um, and also, they just got um, they let go of Malcolm Butler and some other players. Mm -hmm. Malcolm in Tennessee Brandon now, Cook, Brandon Cooks. and they just traded Brandon Cooks as well. Um, for another first round draft pick and a fourth round, if I'm not mistaken, I've seen that somewhere. So they've been they've been making moves, really have been. But it's going to be interesting to see who's going to be a successor of Tom Brady. I think mm -hmm. that's the biggest thing because so how much longer does Brady um, play? I don't know. He got probably five in him, maybe five, maybe. Wow. I mean, as long as he wants to play the game, mm -hmm. he w what else can he accomplish other than another ring right now? And, and, and when you push for that, you, you push for, okay, um, shooting my star out of the stratosphere mm -hmm. now. You know what I'm saying? So it's almost like, all right, I've done everything. I know this routine. And, and it's now it's, it's a routine for me. And it feels good and it feels comfortable. But when I stop doing that, then what? But right now he can play till he's five because you know why? They protect the quarterbacks like none other. <laughs> you can't go back there and touch him. You freaking breathe on him or... Mm -hmm. You're getting a flag, a 15 yard penalty. So it's almost like it's impossible to go out there after these guys now. So he can play the 45 and it mm -hmm. wouldn't be a problem. He just lost his left tackle, though. Yeah, I know. That's why he got those first round picks. They can probably <laughs> get another one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you look at that and be like, these guys are set up to be successful still in another mm -hmm. year. So those guys are the guys that are chasing mm -hmm. the AFC when you look at it. So Shannon says he'll last maybe one more year, maybe. Well, like I said, if they change the rules to how they play with the quarterbacks, <laughs> then that's where he'll last one more year. Mm -hmm. But if they don't in the way it is now, he's going to be playing for another four to five. That's as long as he want to do it. That's what Skip wants him to do. Mm -hmm. what's, what's <laughs> you watched the Super Bowl. How surprised were you that Malcolm Butler did not play in that ball game? And what do you think could have led that the way they were playing defensively, the way they were getting torched, that you not play the guy played <laughs> right. one snap. Right. That would have been a big output in that game. Now, I, I kid you not, um, defensive backs have a big emphasis on what wide receivers do. Mm -hmm. And he could have affected that game, literally. And I and I do mean and I do say that. It's at times I understand coaches and they and they try to make a point, and, and that point is reasonable. And you're in the biggest game of of, of all. And, and you don't winner. No, man, you don't toss your weight around like that. At the end of the day, okay, sit you out for a quarter, sit you out for a half. That's cool. You know, teach your lesson. But the whole game, when crunch time comes down to it, mm. I mean, gosh, you want to go over six or you want to stay five? Nick Foles hung 41 on Belichick's defense. Just saying. 41? <laughs> Literally. And, and you look around and you see what happened and, and why Matt Patricia over there throwing his head up in the air. Like, gosh, give me my players, man. Right. Give me my defenders. Give me my best people. You put the best out on the field and you let them play. End of the day, we're not in college, man. It's not high school. We're professional athletes. We're here for a reason. You, you pay us all this money. Butler's game. I respect this game. I respect, you know, Bill Belichick as a coach. I respect everything they do as an organization, but at the end of the day, man, you have to put your best players on the game no matter what happens or the situation. I mean, he's there. He's not in jail. He's not somewhere out, injured. caught up, injured. I mean, if he's not those things, hey, when you look at the signs, you look back, what is it? Hmm. I mean, don't so get me how wrong. do you explain it? So how do you explain it? I mean, what happened? I don't know the details. Hmm. I don't know anything about what happened, what took place. They said it was they said it was personnel they said the guys that played instead of Malcolm gave presented the best opportunity Eric for them to Rowe. win what was Eric Rowe oh, no offense I'm, I don't know either <laughs> I mean I'm not I mean, I'm not Eric Rowe that, and, that, I, that was, and I and I don't know a guy and I don't try and disrespect him at all and I, and I think he's going to be a hell of a player right. once his time comes but at the end of the day I think Malcolm Butler is he not um senior to Eric Rowe so he's been playing the position. He has that experience. Yep. He's played in those Super Bowl games. And he knows that. Um, I think it was Eric Rose time, but the timing of when it happened, um, it probably wasn't. Right. Because if that if it was the case, we'd be talking about Eric Rowe right now right. And, and not Malcolm Butler. But 
like I said, he Malcolm Butler won you a Super Bowl mm. with, with capturing that pick. Exactly. You know, that makes up for whatever he has done because yeah. if he didn't make that play, we were talking about Seattle now with two instead of one. Mm. You know, so end of the day, you have to look, go back at it and be like, wow, this guy did do this. And now you turn around and, and you make that move. Mm. It's kind of like for a player, it's disheartening, distasting, and it's almost like a middle finger up at you and the organization mm. for that. Mm. Just Which speaking from a player. no longer there, right? Probably. So better quarterback right now, Tom Brady or Aaron Rodgers? Whoo! you put me on a hot seat with that one. You like ah, I do love it, Tom. Don't get me wrong. Oh, lay it out. Gosh, man. man, Tom. Aaron Rodgers is Gandalf the White to me, man. <laughs> you seen Lord of the Rings? Anybody a trilogy fan? He's Gandalf the White to me, man. That guy is just the way he's able to. I don't know. I don't know the place you get. I mean, you're I mean, the man spoken. I mean, man Tom spoken. Brady. He is going to go down as the greatest all time. Once he get out of the game, you see what he was able to do, man. He is going to go down. But he ain't down. Gandalf. What you mean he ain't Gandalf? Aaron Rodgers, you just said He's that. You can only system? have be one. You can only have one Gandalf. <laughs> you said it was I know. I, I, Tom is like, he's like, he's going to have a, a carved out Mount Rushmore when he's Yeah, gone. he might. But that, that wasn't quick. We're not talking about what he's going to have when I he know, does. I know, I know. But like I said, he put his. Yeah, we on the hot seat. You got the, we got the light on you, too. Okay, it's like, which apple do you like better? The, the red I, I don't know. Macintosh, <laughs> uh, Red Delicious, Granny Smith. So the, the red Come apple on. was the MVP of the league last year, the guy Tom Brady. Mm. And then the red apple, Tom Brady, went to the Super Bowl and threw for a playoff <laughs> record 505. I got the, the light Bowl. on you. Which one? Yeah. The light's on it. I got the light. You want Aaron Rodgers or Tom Brady? Oh, come okay, on, you man. Got, okay, for one game, for your life, you want Aaron Rodgers or you want Tom oh, Brady? That's yeah, the easiest question it, you ever ask anybody. <laughs> one game for your life? One game. On... One game for your life, Josh Norman. Who you want? You be talking about two of the top all the... No. It, it's... Nope. No. You, you can't... You can't... It's... Okay, you put them both in the same sense. Can I have both of them? No. One and one half, another one and a half. For your life. For your life. <laughs> I know. Like, what do you do that life. at? That's not how we do things. Like I know. What do they do that at? For your life. One for game. For my life. Man. It's crazy. It's crazy, 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 crazy question, man. Okay. You know, you go with those rings, you have to look at Tom Brady, but then you already know Aaron Rodgers is going to bring you, so... <sighs> I know. I'll say you know this. I'll say this. I'll say this. I'll say this. You can't deny the five rings. You can't deny the five rings. But um, as much as I, I respect and love Tom. As much you, what? <laughs> <laughs> as much as you love and respect Tom, but. <laughs> both but, of them. Both of them. <laughs> I know both of them. Are all, all time great. Transcendent. I love him. I love him. But. Man, I can't. You got to have one. <laughs> That Aaron Rodgers is going to beat us, man. That Aaron Rodgers is going to beat us in Washington Redskins. If, if we didn't come in there and get that punch on that Monday night, that game that happened, he was going to come back and beat us from a 31 mm -hmm. deficit. So you were, so. I, I mean, the, you, you realize Aaron Rodgers is five and that six. Is, yeah, that is, you see, he tried to swing it. No, no, Skip, don't do that, Skip. Yeah, it's <laughs> not even close. Yeah, no, that's his decision. He just died. No, <laughs> he's not going to make it. Josh, thanks for joining I did, us. I did. Let's I did. you off the hook. Michael Rappaport joins us next. We'll talk about Gosh, LeBron, man. Floyd, Mayweather, <laughs> and more coming up. All day. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.